I'm going to jump right into it. This is going to be my drawing. Step one, A, P. The action potential goes down what we call, what we call the axon. That's step one. And they go into the pre-synaptic terminal. The A, P, action potential, causes these calcium channels to open and the calcium channels go in and they go into the they are there they go into the neurons and in step three these these are synaptic vesicles that are filled with neurotransmitters and the calcium that, that had came in activates these synaptic vesicles to fuse with the membrane of the presynaptic um, terminal so fuse it with the membrane and the neurotransmitters are released within the gap, which we call the synapse. That's, and then step four, these neurotransmitters bind with the receptors on the, what we call the postsynaptic neuron. This is a postsynaptic neuron. So these, these bind with the receptors and essentially allow ions to be able to go in and out of the, of the postsynaptic neuron. And this produces um, elect um, inhibitory potential and excitatory potential. So once and then in step five, we have enzymes in this in the synapse in the gap that break up these transmitter molecules. That's five A. And in five B, we have these transmitter molecules that are basically repackaged. They go back in to the presynaptic terminal and they're repackaged in a new synaptic vesicle and they're basically going to be recycled for the next process that happens and in step six we have these transmitter molecules that bind with these postsynaptic no with this presynaptic receptors and they bind with the receptors and essentially to close off the calcium channels that had been created earlier and this allows five steps five through six allows the whole process of steps one through four to occur again so it's resetting everything steps five through six are resetting everything for the process of one through four to be able to happen once again and that is my explanation